Here are the two ways you can grow your platform. Choose wisely. There's a few ways I've noticed that people build platforms. The standard way used to be to put out good content, be consistent, and interact well with your audience. There's another way, and like Yoda said, What the f*** is your more seductive? These days, controversy equals growth. Quarrel the best, jab and stab and troll, and you're nearly guaranteed to get big. Controversy is the steroids of platform growth. You'll be a mass monster. You'll grow and grow and get more and more social media muscle. You'll probably make some money, too. You'll gain notoriety. You'll be the gladiator of the interwebs. You win. But like lifters that take steroids year after year, it'll start to take its toll. Steroids eat away at your body. Controversy eats away at your mind and soul. Your head will always be in that space where you're enraged and engaged by the next arrow that's slung at you via the Twitter bow, and the next, 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 back and forth ad nauseum. If you want to be positive, if you want a platform where people come to learn, to chill, to chat, to look at your work and interact, Accept the fact that you've entered the classic physique competition in a world that wants Mr. Olympia. And as more and more people want to compete for the title, they'll get jealous. They'll get envious. The more your head rises above the flailing crowds, the more likely they'll be to grab a hold of you and climb up you instead of with you. And before long, because everyone has been training to fight all day, every day, they'll sink to the level of their training. Small offenses become trollable offenses. Sides gather within sides. Outsiders sling more arrows. Insiders add their own arrows to the fray. And soon the arena is full of nothing but arrows, and anyone who casually strolls up will briskly walk away. Now, on the other hand, some battles ought to be fought. If you believe in a position, of course you should defend it. If you believe there are high stakes, you ought to champion your cause. But be careful. A little grace, a little patience, and a little overlooking of offenses go a long way to persuading people of the justness of your cause. And if you've given up persuading, well, get used to endless arrows from every corner, from every side. So, here's the deal. If you want rapid growth, there's a way to do that. People act when they're angry. And on the net, that means hitting subscribe, follow, retweet, comments. But be sure to be constantly on your guard. You never know who has a knife under their coat. There is another way, and it's slower. People won't flock to you all at once, but those that do will stay loyal. You'll be a haven in turbulent waters, but only to those who need rest. And eventually, everyone needs rest. We need rocks of shelter during storms. And remember, storms pass, but rocks last forever. Hey, if you like this video, please subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell for notifications. 